Using an open triangular bandage, place the apex of the bandage about 2 inches below the base. Fold in half horizontally to make a broad bandage. Fold in half again horizontally to make a narrow bandage. Place both ends of the bandage to meet in the middle. Fold in each side to the centre. Fold in the centre to make a pressure pad. Using a narrow bandage, make two loops with each end facing opposite directions. Place hand through both loops and secure around the wrist. Each loose end is tied around the patient's neck using a reef knot. In the case of an arm fracture, Keep the arm completely immobilised by tying two narrow slings around the injured arm above and below the fracture site and tie under the uninjured arm. Using a narrow bandage, hold one end in your hand and wrap the bandage around spread fingers. Wrap the tail end of the bandage around the donut to hold it together. For musculoskeletal injuries, such as sprains, an elastic roller bandage can be used to apply a firm and even pressure for support and to minimise swelling. When applying a roller bandage, always be sure that the pressure is even and firm. Ensure that the circulation of blood is not slowed to the fingers or toes of the affected limb. This can be checked by squeezing the tip of the toe or finger and looking for the return of colour to the part. Place the injured arm across the chest with the hand towards the shoulder of the opposite side. Place a triangular bandage over the injured arm with the apex towards the elbow of the injured limb. Tuck the bandage from below the arm under the injured limb. Take the inside edge of the bandage and twist with the outside edge at the elbow. Pull the bandage around from one elbow to the shoulder of the uninjured limb to meet with the other point. Tie a reef knot just below the collarbone and tuck the loose end in.
Hold one end of the bandage in each hand. Place the right end over the left end and loop it under so it is now on the left side. Take the new left side end and place it over the right side end and loop it under. Pull each end tightly across to make a reef knot. The flat side of the knot should be facing down for comfort. To untie the knot, take the left end and pull it across to the right. This will loosen the knot, making it easier to remove. Place pressure pad onto the wound. If possible, ask the patient or assistant to hold the pad in place. Using an open triangular bandage, place the middle of the bottom edge just above the eyebrows, ensuring that pressure is constantly maintained on the wound. Bring the two ends of the bandage over the ears and to the back of the head. Tie the ends together and pull to tighten it at the base of the skull. Bring the ends to the front and tie a reef knot on the forehead. Tuck the ends into the bandage on the sides. Place one hand on top of the head and by pulling on the excess material under the knot at the back of the neck, the head bandage will tighten and pressure will be maintained on the wound. Using a magazine or a stick as a splint, tie one narrow bandage below and one above the fracture site. Use an open triangular bandage placed under the injured arm and across the body. The apex of the triangular bandage should point to the side of the injury and one end should sit over the shoulder of the uninjured side. Tuck the apex in behind the elbow and take the loose end to the shoulder of the injured limb and around the neck to meet the other end. Tie the ends together in a reef knot just below the collarbone. Check circulation in the arm by squeezing the tip of the thumb, looking for the return of colour to the part. A neck brace can be easily made by folding a magazine and wrapping it up in a triangular bandage. The height of the brace should be 12 to 15 centimetres. Rub the wrapped magazine around your knee to give it more flexibility.